Okay, everybody, thanks for joining me today. So, um, I've been doing something that I've been taking for granted, and I know that it would help a lot of people out there because I see these posts, uh, especially people with manifolds, they're saying, Hey, man, I, uh, I shot 6% at this uh, stucco and it still didn't get clean. Or uh, I'm trying to do a house wash and it's not cleaning, and I had to keep bumping my valves up. What's wrong? Well, there's a couple of things that could be wrong. One is, on a previous video, you saw where I was getting screwed on the purchase of my uh, SH. I was buying 12.5% and only getting supplied 7 to maybe 8.5%. The only way I know that is I, I bought this tester here and I was testing my SH. So this has saved me a lot of headaches. Um, it is a uh, Lovi Bond 147,490. That thing has paid for itself uh, tenfold. Knowing exactly what you're shooting or what you're buying, it, it saved me a lot of headache. Anyway, it's a little pricey. You can do it by feel and smell and just seeing if you know if you're cleaning, if your uh, mix is cleaning, you can make adjustments. You don't have to have that, it just made it easier. So I'm not real technical, but maybe more technical than I have to be. But uh, I've been doing some tests and trying to come up with some uh, formulas and crap like that. Uh, I was gonna show you all this running. I've made 10 videos trying to explain this and I have to yell and then when I shut my equipment off I have to explain what I just did so what I'm going to do is I'm going to ex go through my theories and thoughts and then you'll have to apply them um, so here's my manifold now this is going to work for you know smaller manifolds bigger manifolds it doesn't matter if it's a manifold it's going to work the same. You can have vacuum manifolds, you can have pressure manifolds. So this actually is a pressure manifold, but we use it as, you know, for a vacuum manifold. So if you think about it as a vacuum manifold, how does that work? All right, so I don't need this vacuum gauge to explain what I'm going to explain to you. So we have we have to maintain a certain amount of vacuum in this manifold so it will pull evenly. And it's never going to pull evenly. We have some factors. One is, if this tank is completely full, the water line is up here. It's actually pressurizing the water side right here. And look over here, my SH tank is below. So it's going to be a harder pull to bring the SH to this level. And since SH is 22.22% is heavier than water, we have another variable too so you have to take all this in, in consideration when you're making your adjustments so the way we do this is turn off all your valves we're going to get a baseline for where your valves need to be set so turn off all your valves open your water valve all the way start your motor if it's electric that's fine it don't matter diaphragm if you're running a manifold this is what you got to do you got to find your baseline uh, where it's actually the baseline is where your pump starts starving and you know doesn't put out you know the volume the distance isn't there so while you're spraying while you're spraying your gun slowly turn your water down until like on this gas pump I can tell when it's when the pump starts laboring it's starting to it it's harder for it to pull so then my pump labors um, and then also I can see my stream go down and it's at about 50% uh, so I know my valving is is plenty large enough to supply this pump to push out through a half inch hose now if you had a 5 8 inch hose it'd be different but the concept is the same so at 50%, with this valve open at 50%, I'm going to split the difference. And let's just go, instead of 75%, let's just go two notches down to 80%. Okay, so 
that's my baseline. So if I open my SH up, let's say all the way, my vacuum drops. Now it's gonna pull from the easiest uh, line, which would be my water. So I'm, if, if both these valves are completely open, you're not getting 6%. So when you start uh, saying, hey, I, I'm shooting 6%, nothing's getting clean on this stucco, it's because you're not shooting 6%. Um, you know, like I said, different variables, tank level heights, all this plays in, it's, you can't be scientific. It, it's, you have to adjust it on the go. But let's say we, we're at 80 here and we're gonna start pulling SH. So if I open it up 10% or one notch, I need to close this down one notch. That way it keeps this manifold pulling the same and trying to keep everything more even coming through the manifold. I wouldn't even worry about considering the soap. I just barely turn my soap on. Um, I'm using less and less soap uh, the more and more I wash houses. Um, just, I mean, it's probably almost like nothing, but just maybe a quarter turn. That's a needle valve, so just barely, you know, just barely lets any soap through. But let's just take this soap out of, let's not complicate it with the soap valve. So if I know that it, it takes 80% of one valve open to be a, a perfect baseline uh, for my pump, everybody's pump is going to be different. Even if it's identical, you're going to be different because of how many fittings, the height, the water level, that's always going to change. You just always want to maintain a good vacuum in here and it will help everything pull evenly. So my baseline is, is 80%. So let's say I want 6% or 50-50 a 50 50 blend. So I want to, I'm working with 80%, right? 80% my baseline. So I'm gonna put this down to 40, 40%. I'm gonna bring this to 40%. Now, if the water tank levels and we're all the same this would be running a 50 50 mix but we have variables the biggest variable is that the bleach is 22 percent heavier so now i have to compensate okay so i'm going to open my sh up just a little bit more and my water down just a little bit more so i'm actually it's not a 50 50 as far as my valves go the water is closed off a little bit more and my SH is open a little bit more to help compensate for the weight and also the lift. I've got to lift that up. So now we're getting closer to a 50-50 mix. So I just wanted you to, it works the same if you're, if you're just wanting, you know, one or two percent for your house mix. So we bring this to 80. Let's say I open this up 10%. Well, now we're combined 90%, so my vacuum's gonna drop a little bit. So I wanna drop this down just a little bit and try to try to get this more balanced, keeping this vacuum the same. So it, it takes a little playing around to get used to it, but uh, once you get the hang of it and get the feel for it, some jobs I've, I leave the house with a full tank because I know I'm gonna, my son works with me, and if we're gonna do concrete in the house at the same time, I need this full so so i'm really you know forcing water into my manifold so you have to take that in effect if my sh tank is completely full the water level or the bleach level is this high but if it's down say I'll, i'm down to my last 10 gallons it's down another foot and a half it's so all that comes into play so when when you guys are saying i've got you know both valves open I should be shooting six percent you never will be it, it just ain't gonna happen so you have to at least start cutting your water back like this and the only way you, I, I just went through all the the crap with the vacuum gauge making adjustments and testing with my tester to to come up with this but you don't have to know exactly but I just wanted you to know that if you're doing a roof and it ain't getting clean, chances are this is your problem. You know, you've got to 
like if you're going to do a six percent roof mix that's about where your valves are your your sh is open more than your water but you want them combined at 80 percent i hope i you know i'm kind of confusing myself but um you know you may have to watch this video a couple of times for it to sink in once it does then you get a feel for you know where all these need to be man i hope i didn't confuse anybody um all i wanted to do is help you it was just taken for granted me adjusting these valves to make it work and doing my testing and so just wanted to share it with you um, any questions of course leave it in the bottom I'll uh, try to answer everyone. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.